Welcome to Mike Golden Games and Happy Halloween. I hope you guys are having a great Halloween so far. This is probably going to be the second episode for the day. So basically what I have planned right now is we'll have two episodes of LSPDFR and a real life mod episode, which is this one. This will probably go in the middle of the day and we'll have LSPDFR in the beginning of the day and one LSPDFR episode at the end of the day. And like I said, the real life mod episode in the middle of the day. So I hope you guys are having a great Halloween so far. Let me know what you're doing for Halloween. And this episode, I've actually compiled quite a few requests. So it's been a while since I've done the real life mod. So we have Officer Purnell wanted us to do a real life mod repo episode. He also wanted us to do a towing episode. Uh, didn't realize this was actually both from him. So we're actually going to combine this into one episode right now. We've got Nightshade, and he wanted us to do a bodyguard mod. So we're going to be doing a bodyguard mission in here as well in this episode. We have the Gunfighter 45 ACP who wants us to use the G6 airplane. So we will be actually going down to the airport after we're done doing our job for the day. And we're going to be taking the G6 all the way to Chicago. Technically St. Charles, Illinois. It's like an hour from Chicago. And then we're actually going to be doing a party down there. So actually we're going to be arriving to the party in style in the Tron bike that's also requested by the Gunfighter 45 ACP. And we've got Seth Glover, who wants us to do a Ford Expedition Halloween skin. This request was actually just added a few days ago, so I'm going to be actually combining that into this Real Life Mod episode, and we're going to be using that later on in this episode. So I hope you guys do enjoy the episode. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already. And, you know, maybe hit that bell icon on the channel. That way, stay notified when the videos do go up. So we are going to be starting off the Real Life Mod episode with uh, repos. So we're going to be going to talk to Simeon in his office. And he has a tow truck for us. At least that's what he told me on the phone. I didn't know he had a tow truck, but okay. So, yep. Uh, what's going on? Man, he has no vehicles. Uh, we do have an officer there. Officer, do you know what's going on, man? Why Simeon has no vehicles today? It's Halloween. He's actually sold them all. Did not realize him mean was that good of a car salesman. Anyways, let's get inside his office. Don't tell him I said that. You know, I, I respect Simeon. Simeon, what's going on, man? So you told me on the phone that you have two cars that needed to be repoed. And something about a tow truck you want me to use for it? Okay, so the first repo is a uh, Ferrari Berlinetta. Ooh, that's a nice car. Did it get stolen, or is this just a standard repo? They didn't pay on their uh, payments, basically. Uh, just standard repo. Okay, sweet. Uh, it's right down the street at the gas station. The guy's uh, gas station clerk. How did he... You know what? That, I was going to ask, how did he get the money for the Ferrari? But clearly he defaulted on his payments. So it, clearly, it, working at a gas station doesn't pay enough to buy a Ferrari. Okay, so Timmy, you want me to go grab the tow truck? It's around back? Gotcha, man. Okay. So let's get out here. He said the tow truck's around back. So let's go check that out. Let's see... Uh, there, what is that? Really, Simeon, that is, honestly, the color combo looks pretty sick. The uh, yellow and blue, I mean, they're good colors. I mean, look at my shirt, am I right? <laughs> hey, check out the merch in the link to below. You know, it's down in the description of the video. Go check out my merch if you haven't already. You know, I'm not saying you have to buy it. I'm just saying, you know, check it out. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Uh, anyways, so we are going to be going to this first repo. Man, this hook is scraping on the ground. Really, Simeon? Looks like the controls are kind of shot. This is an old truck that he tried to repaint. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, he didn't do the best job repainting it. But anyways, let me actually pull up the GPS really quick. All right, so I got it pulled up on the GPS. It looks like it's under half a mile from the location. So it is pretty close by. But again, I hope you guys are having a great Halloween so far. I really do want to know what you're doing. You're going to be trick-or-treating. You're going to be dressing up as anything, uh, which actually that party I was talking about that we're going to in St. Charles, it is a costume party. So I'm going to be dressing up. And actually, my girlfriend's already over there. Uh, so I'm going to be flying by myself. But it should be a pretty good party, I hear. You know, a lot of, you know, basically just partying around the pool and just chilling. So we'll see. It does look like it's supposed to be raining right now over there. And I checked the weather earlier today on my phone. But it looks like by the time we get there, the rain should be starting to stop. But, you know, it's beautiful in Los Santos right now. Okay, come on, people. I got things to do. Let's go. I don't have time for this. Okay, come on, people. 
I gotta get to St. Charles, Illinois. This is super far from Los Santos. So I need to get my job taken care of. Alright, looks like we're not too far now. So we have another freaking red light. Of course we do. All right, let's check the interior of this truck. I like the classic old truck. It's, you know, like a 50s pickup truck that's a tow truck. It's it's pretty sick, honestly. I don't think I've ever actually driven this before. I think it looks pretty sick. Okay, are we seriously still here? Uh, you guys can ignore that from Uncle Lucy. Hashtag Uncle Lucy. Um, come on, people. Maybe I need to get my turn signal on. Uh, this, okay. This horn on this thing is really crappy. I, I had to hold it down for like two seconds before it actually works. All right, so yeah, we're right down the block from it. Looks like it's right on the right-hand side. Let's see, where's the guy parked? Let's see, we'll pull in here. Damn it, did Simeon give me the wrong coordinates? Let me call him up really quick. All right, boys, it looks like I got the coordinates correct now. Now that Simeon gave me the wrong coordinates at the first place. But let's flip back around this way. It looks like we're about a quarter mile from the location. Damn it, he's got a turbo on this thing. I didn't even realize that. Okay, come on, come on. You know what, I'm just going to go through it. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Right, so it looks like, yeah, we're going to take a right here. Just flip through there. Oh, this does not turn well, does it? Yikes. Coming through, people. I, it's Halloween, and I got things to do. I don't have time for this. Um, there we go. Let's pull in here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Is that freaking gold? Simeon did not tell me the color of it. Just said it was a Ferrari Berlinetta. You know, there's not too many of these driving around. All right, slowly back it up. All right, let's get up here and hook it. Dude. There we go. We got it all hooked up. Don't worry. There's a racing tow hook on there. That's what it's made for. You know, it's definitely not scratching the paint or anything like that. All right, let me just get my GPS reset for Simeon's. And we will pull it in straight from that direction, I think. That should be good. All right, so at least we have the car hooked up. Oh, oh, I forgot about the curb, and that is a Ferrari that is super low to the ground. Nobody saw that. It's fine. The car is perfectly fine, okay? All right, so we got to stop. Stop. What is this guy doing? Are you freaking kidding me? Wow. What a freaking dick. What is... Oh, no. Oh. Dude, are you freaking kidding me? Out of the car right now. Give me your information. What the LSPD? How did you just do that? Are you knocked out? Okay, I'm going to let you go. Damn, I was not expecting that to happen. Freaking Domino for what is? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, dude, are you freaking? Come here, son of a. These people today, are you serious? Man, it's freaking Halloween. Like, why are people freaking out like this? Hopefully the car is fine. Seriously, are you freaking serious, dude? What? Oh my, these people today. Hit that like button if you guys are enjoying the episode. I hope you are enjoying it so far. So anyways, let's get down back to Simeon's. We are about a quarter mile from the location. So we're not doing too bad right now. The car is uh, not doing too bad, actually. Uh, did the license plate get ripped off or... Oh, 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 I gotta be careful braking. Forgot about that. We're good. What's up, taxi? No, I'm not a taxi. No. <laughs> Just realized I'm the same color scheme as the taxi. <laughs> Come on, lady, run across. Light's gonna be turning green soon, I hope. Is it seriously a four-way red stop right now? There we go. Come on, go, go. Don't you do it, dude! Don't you freaking do it! These people do not know how to drive. Yikes. Sliding all over the place with this Ferrari behind me. Gotta be a little more careful. Slowly come to a stop. There we go. All right. Just gotta wait for the light to turn. Let's see, turn signal. There we go. And does it work in the front? Does not have front turn signals, only rear turn signals. Gotcha. All right, so there's Simeon's. We have one more repo to do after this. And then uh, I believe next up on the list was a bodyguard. Somebody needed some protection. So we're gonna be helping that guy out today. Should be making some good money. Maybe it'll pay for my gas for the plane. Come on. Yes, it's a, my, my plane, it's a private jet. 
Simeon, of course, hooked me up. He has the contacts. So, you know, I was able to get it for a really good deal. Okay, come on. This light is taking forever. But damn, who would have thought that an old truck like this in this color scheme would be pulling a Ferrari Berlinetta that's, in fact, gold? Okay, this light is... <laughs> this light is long. All right, finally, we have a green light. I had to wait there for, like, literally four minutes. Let's take a right here, get our turn signal on. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Dude, dude, please keep moving. Yikes. Okay, and let's get the Ferrari pulled in here. And right like that. And unhook it. Beautiful. All right, get that turn signal off. It looks like it was stuck. All right, let's call up Simeon really quick, see where the next location is. I could just run inside, but I don't feel like it. All right, let's back it up this way. And the location is, of course, in the ghetto. Right down the road from Grove Street. Uh, let me see. I believe the right location was this building here. So let's get moving this way. Excuse me, buddy. Again, I hope you are enjoying the episode. Seriously, if you do, hit that like button. Let me know what you think of the episode in the comments below. And, you know, maybe if you don't like it that much, let me know what you didn't like about it. Or if you have suggestions for other real-life mod episodes, let me know down in the comments below for that. Because I really do need suggestions for the real-life mod. If you guys want to see more, please, you know, give me some suggestions for stuff you'd like to see. Finally, the light is going. Let's get moving. I'm just gonna... Oh, Zach, I had the same idea as me. Yikes! That hook is flying all around. Good thing there's nobody standing in the street there, or they would get smacked in the head by that hook. Jeez, that was a close one. Oh, I thought I was gonna rear-end this guy in front of me. All right. Gotta relax. Calm down. My day is almost over. My job, and my, my shift is almost over. Anyways, let's get my turn signal on. Just kind of squeeze in. Thank you, buddy. And that guy just did the same thing I did. Got another freaking red light. Jeez. This is all Los Santos is, is red lights. That's why I like to have the red and blue lights. Come on, people. Keep moving. Man, this horn is atrocious. Oh, I just realized this thing's got the yellow uh, turn lights, whatever you want to call them. Uh, okay, I believe we need to go on the right up here. So let me get my turn signal on for that. And it's actually not this light, but in this alleyway here. Let's see. Oh, there it is. All right, so let's just flip around this way. Back it in, and it looks like we might be clear. Hopefully there's no gangbangers around here. And we'll back it up here. All right. Oh, son of a... There's a guy over there. This could get difficult. Hey, man, LSPD. Yeah, I need to repo this vehicle today. What's an LSPD officer doing repoing vehicles? Uh, well, I actually work with Simeon. You may have been into a shop. It is a really nice high-end vehicle shop. Uh, anyways, yeah, he has the LSPD basically protecting his shop because it has been robbed many times. So he thought it would be a good idea to get some protection from the LSPD. So anyways, I am helping him repo some vehicles today, and he said that you defaulted on this Jeep Gladiator, which you really spruced it up with this paint job. Uh, what's going on with these doors, dude? Like, that doesn't even match. Blue and purple? Not the great color combo, okay, man? Um, so yeah, anyways, come on. I need you to back away from the vehicle, dude. Let's go. Back away from the vehicle. Come on, dude. Back... Back away from the vehicle! Don't try to hit me, dude! Don't worry, he's only knocked out. He's still alive. Let me just get this vehicle here. Ah, uh, perfect. Okay, so we're good there. Let's back up the truck. And try and get out of here before any of his friends show up. And let's see, can we hook it? Oh. Okay, so that's a problem. I forgot to actually initialize... Uh, this Jeep to be towed. The Jeep itself can tow trailers, but yeah, it's an add-on vehicle, so I can't actually tow it. So, you know what? Let me uh, pull up here, and I'm going to give Simeon a call really quick, tell him that somebody needs to come ASAP to pick up his truck. 
All right, so I just got off the phone with Simeon. He said just leave the truck here, and he's going to have somebody come pick it up super quick. I do have the keys for the truck, so we're going to take the Jeep Gladiator and just drive it back to his uh, shop. So let's get back over this way. Damn, this thing is quick. It's got a twin Sursky in it. Jeez. Okay. Oh, red light. Oh, okay. The brakes are decent, but they could use a little work. Okay, so let's get through this way and just get over to Simony. Let's do a little bit of off-road in. And we're in a Jeep Gladiator. We can do this, right? Let's do a little bit of that and take a left onto the actual road. And yikes, does this thing have purple headlights? That's actually pretty sick. All right, come on, people. Got another red light. All righty then. So we are on the move. Let's just try and cut around traffic here, get the Simeons. And this red light always seems to give me a problem. It always seems to basically never turn green. So we will just pull this Jeep right up here. And there we go. All right, I'm going to leave it running for Simeon. I'll talk to him and see what he needs us to do next. But we should be good for that. So let me let me go speak with Simeon and see what he has for us. All right, Simeon, what's going on, man? All right, so both vehicles have been repossessed. You got the Jeep Gladiator right out front and the uh, Ferrari Berlinetta in the back. So you were saying that there was somebody that needed some protection, bodyguard, basically, stuff like that. So, yeah, what's the issue with that? Okay, so the guy is inside the ghetto, right, and he needs an escort out of the ghetto to the airport. Okay, well, I am headed to the airport, so, what, oh, you got a vehicle for me, too? It's a Ford Expedition. Interesting, I haven't driven one of those before, I don't believe. Uh, you got it parked around back, right over there. Sweet. Okay, so you got the keys for it. All right, thank you for that. And a body armor waiting in the back seat. Okay, sounds good to me. So the guy is located inside the ghetto. Okay, I gotcha. All right, sounds good to me, and I'll go get suited up and head over there as soon as possible. All right, so let's get outside there, and he's got the truck right around to the right. All right, let's see. Ooh, the Ford Expedition actually does look like a really awesome truck, or SUV, I guess. Really, it's an SUV, but I like the matte orange paint job, and I guess it's a Halloween theme going on. Uh, G Recon. I wonder what that could stand for. Hmm. Okay, anyways, let's get inside this G Recon Ford Expedition with a Halloween themed paint job. I think this vehicle actually looks really sick. Uh, so I was messing around with it for a few minutes, and you can actually, like, close the sunroof. Uh, basically, like, you know, the inside panel to shade you from the sun, basically. Uh, but I have that all the way open right now. Let's check out the interior really quick. Uh, does have working gauges, it looks like. Always a plus. And the doors and everything looks really sick. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the episode so far. I just wanted to check out the interior of this vehicle since it's the first time I've had it installed. And then all the new vehicles and whatever else we have going on, I will have links to the in the description in the video. So anyways, yeah, we are good to go. So it looks like we need to go under a mile, so that's not bad. We will take a left over this way. Ooh, it's actually really quiet. You know, I mean, some vehicles, it's nice to have a super quiet exhaust. And on others, it's really nice to have a loud, rumbly exhaust. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, am I supposed to stop here? No, I'm supposed to stop here. Except we got a green light. Okay. Man, you can actually hear, like, how dampened the sound is. Let's go in first person really quick. That actually sounds pretty decent. Really, I do hope you guys are enjoying the episode. Please hit that like button if you haven't already. That really does help me out when you do that. Basically, you know, it pushes the videos up in the view count and more people basically get pushed to the video so they see it. You know how YouTube works. The more likes, the more comments, all the above, you know, it helps the video get more views. Uh, so let's take a left down this way then. Uh, we are just over a quarter mile from where the, the uh, bodyguard, the, the VIP is. Okay, guys, so I pulled over to the side of the road right down the block from the guy's location. Wanted to put that body armor on just because this is a high-stakes VIP. So let's get through the light here, and I believe, yeah, his location is right over here at this motel. And let me just flip around this way. Come on, pull in, pull in, let's go. 
So right now, so basically this guy has uh, life-threatening, uh, well, threats against his life right now. So let's get over here, get my sidearm out. Hey man, Mike Golden, I'm the bodyguard for today. Simeon hired me to get you out of here. You're a VIP, right? Yep, okay. So you got life threatenings against your life right now. So how about you hop in the Ford Expedition and let's get you to the airport. All right, hurry up, man. Get in the vehicle, let's go. Shoot, we're getting shot at. Come on, go, 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 go. I'm gonna take a right here. Oh, shots fired. Okay, let's take a left here. Yikes, oh, oh, geez, we are getting shot at. Okay, uh, what is that person doing there? They're just standing there. Yikes. All right, so we need to get over to the airport, so we're gonna take a right over here. Okay, we need to flip around. Let's quick, whoa! Whoa, that was a close one. Legit, that was like so close. Okay, so we are a mile and a quarter from the location of the airport, so we're gonna get over there as quick as possible. Yikes, okay, come on, come on, keep going, keep going. All right, so we gotta keep moving. Uh, looks like we have armed hostiles over to the right. Ow, oh, to the left, I meant. Okay, I don't know where I'm going right now. Uh, we're just gonna blow through this red light. We gotta get this guy to the safe house at the plane. You guys know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to get him to the airport. So we actually should be in the clear, hopefully. So let's just cut around these vehicles really quick. Hang in there, man. I'll get you there safely. I'm a professional bodyguard, somewhat. I mean, I'm, I'm with the LSPD. I've done quite a bit of bodyguard work before. So we will need to get through this way. And we are coming up to the airport. Uh, do you have a hangar you want me to drop you off, or you want me to drop you off at the main gate? Drop you off at the hangar? Okay, gotcha. Uh, let's go this way then. All right. He's telling me where to go right now. Uh, just smashed through the gate. Okay. LSPD, coming through. Thank you for opening the gate. Looks like this guy's got a little uh, garage door opener button. So we need to drop him off at a hangar. So he's saying it's the one over there at the left. Okay. So we need to... I am definitely breaking some rules right now. But, yikes, drift it, drift it, drift it. Beautiful, kind of. This is not the best drift, but that's all right. Okay, dude, you do not have a plane here. Where do you want us to go now? Okay, he's telling me to go down this way. Gotcha, man. He's saying he should have a backup plane down at the end of the runway, so we'll see. Uh, so anyways, man, where are you going? You're going to Chicago? Huh, that's funny. I'm actually going there, too. Oh, this is your plane. Copy that. All right, let me get you dropped off here. Let me back you up. And, okay, so he's got his pilot on his way. Come on. Okay, man. So that's it. Get in your plane and get to safety, man. Have a great day, and I'm glad that I could serve you today. All right, so now we should be able to get back to my hangar, which is actually... This big one right here, at the straight in front of us. Let's just do a little bit of off-road and cut through this terrain. No big deal. Oh, oh, shoot. Simeon doesn't need to know about that. Definitely happened in the ghetto. As you can see, I mean, the windows are shot up already as well. So none of that was my fault. All right, let's pull up here. And we'll just pull right there. That, that's fine, right? Okay, so let's get in my plane. I have my costume in the plane already. So let's just get inside the plane and get to the party in Chicago. Whoa, not sure what was up with the texture on that, but that's no big deal. Close that up, get in first person. Looks like we got radar going on right there. Ooh, got a bottle of champagne right back there. This should be a fun flight. So like I said, we are gonna be going to Chicago. Well, technically St. Charles, like I said, it's like an hour from Chicago. And we're gonna be doing a party. It's gonna be freaking awesome. And it is, you know, it's a Halloween party, so we're going to be dressed up. It's going to be fun. So let's get onto the runway now. If I could remember how to turn, that is a squad car. Yikes, sorry, officer. Oh, I think I might have tapped him there. No big deal. He knows who I am. Let's get this way. There we go. I don't believe this is the main runway, but that's all right. For the sake of it, we're just going to take off this way. Come on, take off, take off, take off. There we go. Get landing gear up. There we go. Beautiful. And we need to bank to the right. And we want to go directly east. Actually, actually we want to go uh, northeast a bit. We need to bank around this way and above the city skyline. 
beautiful. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. Let me know what you think of it because I've been basically throwing in a whole bunch of stuff in this episode. So I really do want to get you guys' feedback on this one. This one is cool, hitting some turbulence there. Need to get up higher. All right, I guess we got a few hour flight ahead of us. So I will see you guys once we get to St. Charles, Illinois. All right, boys, we are finally getting to St. Charles, Illinois. We got this airstrip here, so we're gonna need to actually make another pass around. We got a little bit of a water right there, so. Ooh, it is really raining out. This is gonna make landing a little difficult. So we need to get a little bit lower to the ground, and we're gonna make a pass. Just gonna try and fly this way. This is actually super unrealistic for landing, but that's all right, we'll ignore that fact. And now we're gonna make the pass around. And flip around this way, almost get into the landing pad. Get landing gear down. All right, perfect. Yikes, okay. I believe that's the runway right there, yep. Um, gonna get a little bit lower and turn to the left. Please, there we go. And slow it down. We are making our landing now. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's not good. A little bit of wind turbulence. Oh! Ow! That was a bad landing right there. Yikes, can I stop? Okay. Let's, uh, let's just leave the plane right here. Oh. All right, boys, so we have finally landed and I got suited up in my costume. You may recognize this from a few episodes or so. But anyways, we are gonna be getting to the party now. We are gonna be riding in style. I hope this rain lightens up soon. It's pretty freaking wet out. But oh my goodness, that is super bright. But this is the Tron bike, which this one was requested by the Gunfighter 45 ACP. So I hope you guys do enjoy this one. And let's flip the bike around this way. And let's just gun it. Oh my goodness, this bike had to cost like 100 grand. Damn. All right, boys, we're getting to the house now. I had to drive like about 20 minutes or so. Ooh, what is going on here? Oh, it looks like they've got a police, uh, basically security. That's pretty sick. And the lights on this bike are a little blown out from my texture mods, but no big deal. And here is my girlfriend. It looks like she's all in her costume. She's dressed up as a character from Cyberpunk 2077, I believe is the name of it. I'm blanking on it a bit. But yeah, let's let's check it out really quick. Damn, babe, I'm looking good. Woo, look at that. Gotta say, this model looks pretty sick. Am I right? <laughs> Hit that like button, guys, if you are enjoying the episode. Uh, so let's get inside the party, babe. All right, come on, let's get inside. Everybody's in the pool and everything, swimming around, sweet. So yeah, what do you guys think of my costume as well? I think it looks pretty freaking sick. Uh, let's see, we got some people up there. Yeah, we'll just go by the pool see how it's looking again it would be awesome to have a bunch of music playing in the background but you know how youtube is in their copyrights so i don't want to have any issues with that it looks like we got some people chilling in the hot tub somebody's grilling sweet again this is st charles illinois it's definitely not los santos uh anyways yeah nice pool uh, oh they got an infinity pool too sweet let's do some water swimming oh yeah water swimming what am i even saying right now okay we're getting some texture loss now uh, there are a bunch of vehicles out front, if you guys didn't see that. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot of a lot of vehicles out front. Uh, looks like she's swimming too. Okay, come on, hop in. If you want to swim, hop in. I mean, she waited to jump in until I got out. It's like, what's she trying to do? Sending me mixed signals here, babe. Anyways, uh, yep, definitely getting some texture loss. All right, babe, let's go have some fun at the party. All right, guys, I really hope you have a great Halloween this year. Let me know again in the comments, if you haven't already, what you're going to be doing for Halloween. Are you going to be dressing up like we are right now? We're at a Halloween party. So I hope you guys really did enjoy this episode. Seriously, let me know what you think. I really do want to get your guys' feedback. Uh, let's go outside really quick. Just check out the police lights and everything. They look so good at night. Am I right, guys? Anyways, yeah, let's just go check them out. And I'll show you what other cars there are in the driveway. Like I was saying, we got a lot of cars out here. I forgot to turn that bike off. It is still on. Hopefully the battery is fine. Damn, it is freaking dark tonight. Gotta love St. Charles, Illinois. Oh, again? Yep. St. Charles, Illinois Police. 
I think I did a really good job on this. If you haven't seen that episode, just go to my channel and search for the St. Charles Police Patrol. I think I did a really decent job on the vehicle. But all right, guys, you know what? I'm going to leave this episode here now. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already. And be sure you hit that little bell icon on the channel. That way you're notified when the videos go up. All right, guys, take it easy. And remember, guys, have a safe Halloween. Seriously, just whatever you do, be safe. Take it easy, guys.